there! Hillary here for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. I am here at Reefstock Denver and one of the new things that's on the market is Reefability. So we are going to talk to Andy, learn a little bit about this app and all of the tools that it has to offer. Let's go say hi. All right, this is Andy. Andy, tell us a little bit about Reefability and about your role in it so we can learn more. Sure. My name is uh, Andy Bauma, and I'm the Chief Science Officer from Reefability. And what Reefability is, it's a uh, data analysis and uh, tank maintenance app for reef aquariums. And it does a number of things. It uh, is powered by uh, AI that is able to, uh, to read PDFs of um, ICPs, of uh, aquabiomics microbiome, of aquabiomics uh, eDNA, of Triton NDOC tests, and it's able to take all those different kinds of data and organize them together in one app. And it also has um, a bioload section where you can keep track of all the organisms in your tank, and you can you can uh, look to see whether there are compatibility issues. If you want to add a new fish or add a new coral or add a new invertebrate, um, you can ask the app if there may be some uh, incompatibility issues with your current tank inhabitants. Uh, it monitors your nutrients and provides forecasts if your nutrients are going up or going down and provides uh, suggestions for that. It has a pest identification feature that uh, uses image recognition so you can take a picture of something that you uh, think might be a pest in your tank and um, you also provide a sentence description of it and then it'll it'll look it up in the database and give you a likely identification and then provide some um, information on how to control it in your tank it has a task scheduling feature also keeps track of all the equipment in your tank and it has a um, a reefer AI chatbot. It's uh, it's trained. Uh, it's trained to only uh, go look for information uh, from reefing from reefer knowledge, and we've trained it to um, if there isn't information about something, rather than some AI may hallucinate or make something up. We've <laughs> trained it to uh, to say I don't have enough information about that question, um, and so the reefer AI. Uh, learns the parameters of your tank, and so you can ask it questions about your tank. You can ask it uh, general questions about reefing, and you know things like how do I lower phosphate? What do I do about cyanobacteria? Things like that. And another interesting thing is the app has a, a deep learning um, algorithm that um, looks at all of the data in your tank and the, your actions that you take, and uh, it learns about cause and effect in your system. Oh, okay. And for example. Um, oh, and I should say it also does that among all the users and looks for correlations among all the different data that are in the system. So, for example, um, when people have cyanobacteria pop up, mm -hmm. what are some things that tend to be correlated with that? Oh. What potential actions may lead to cyanobacteria? What potential actions may help reduce the levels? Very so, interesting. And it has, because it, uh, it has really good image recognition, it has a lot of smart tools. For example, uh, a new one that we've just integrated, we've been working with Chris Wood of Captivate Aquaculture, uh -huh. who makes the, the reef blueprint line of trace elements. You dose based on ICP results. And um, the difference is that these are designed so you can mix them together in a cocktail. So mix them together in RO water, and you can hook it up to dose daily over the next 30 days or 60 days or whatever, whatever you want to do. And um, there's an Excel spreadsheet that you have to transfer your ICP information into. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about the AI is that it allows um, you to just uh, upload a PDF to your phone and it'll pull the relevant information out of the ICP and populate it into the Excel spreadsheet and give you a, uh, a dosing cocktail in 20 seconds. Oh, wow, that's impressive. So, uh, yeah, so you can, uh, you can mix up your cocktail and uh, yeah, you can, um, you can uh, match your uh, trace element dosing to ICP data really, really easily. So I like that. It ha yeah, it has some smart tools like that. Now, Andy, I've seen this online. I know this is out, but can you tell everybody that's watching where can they download this in the app store? Is it free? Tell us a little bit more. Yeah, so 
um, you can go to Google Play to get the Android version. You can go to the um, iOS store to get the Apple version. Mm -hmm. And there's there's two levels. Um, the AI tools um, are mostly uh, part of the subscription version, the premium version. Um, but the free version, it allows you to manually log your parameters. Okay. So it doesn't include the, um, the, the features like scan and ICP or Another thing it'll do is like if you have a page of handwritten data, mm -hmm. you can just take a picture of that and upload it, and it'll digitize that in the um, in the premium version. The free version is manual logging of data, and it also includes the uh, the reefer AI chatbot, so you can ask questions about your tank and just general things about reefing. Yeah, um, and uh, if you if you uh, with the premium version again, you can you can do the, um, the captivate aquaculture. Um, cocktail dosing and you oh. can get your um, Captivate or actually it's Reef Blueprint products from saltwateraquarium.com. Oh, perfect. Yep. I'm, I was going to ask you if they could get any of the stuff from saltwateraquarium.com and you already beat me to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. All right. One, I guess I got two, two. AI is really big right now. It's being seen everywhere. I know there's a lot of people, perhaps including myself, that's still a little bit skeptical about AI. I know there's a lot of good things that are coming from it, but for somebody who is skeptical, why, why should I let AI help me take care of my reef tank? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, most people, I think, see a lot of bad examples of AI. Mm -hmm. They see all of the fake images, fake Facebook posts, uh, fake stories, you know, that is just polluting information on the internet, right? Yes. And But at the same time, AI is being used for coral reef restoration. It's being used for cancer research, for data analysis, lots of really important things. And so it's a tool that can be used poorly or it can be used well. Yes. And we've done a number of things with our app to make sure that it's uh, very carefully vetted and it provides good information. And so, for example, <clears throat> we have this Reefer AI chatbot that we spent six months training to only use uh, well-sourced, vetted information. And in cases where there wasn't good information, we supplied it with our own research. Wow. And it also has a rule that it has to find independent sources multiple independent sources before it will provide an answer to a question. So it's not going to pull some random April Fool's thing off the web, like adding peanut butter to your aquarium, for example. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, I, I appreciate you walking through that because I think there are a lot of people that are skeptical. People don't even realize a lot of times that AI is in play. So just having that information and that knowledge out there and the fact that you guys spent so much time helping to prove it. All right, one last question for you. If people have questions, if they've downloaded it, if they're having some issues, or they just want to learn more, where do they go? Yeah, they can, they can uh, look up Reefability on Instagram mm -hmm. and on Facebook. Um, send us a message. Uh, we can go to the, the Reefability, www.reefability.com. Okay. And yeah, ask us. We're happy to, happy to answer questions. Go ahead and reach out. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, that is going to conclude this video. Hopefully you will go and download this app. And if you do, let us know what your experiences are with it, how much you love it. Okay, this is Hillary for Waterlogged on behalf of saltwateraquarium.com. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.